హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ రేష్మా ఫిజిక్స్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో లెట్ అస్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద సెకండ్ లాంగ్ ఆన్సర్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ చాప్టర్ థర్టీన్ ధర్మోడానమిక్స్ స్టేట్ ద సెకండ్ లా ఆఫ్ ధర్మోడానమిక్స్ హౌ ఈస్ హీట్ ఇంజన్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ రిఫ్రిజరేటర్ సో ఫస్ట్ లెట్ అస్ స్టేట్ సెకండ్ లా ఆఫ్ ధర్మోడానమిక్స్ ఇన్ దట్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ కెల్విన్ ప్లాంక్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇట్ సేస్ దాట్ we cannot convert 100% heat into 100% work actually 100% work can be converted into 100% heat but 100% heat cannot be converted into 100% work that they are saying as it is impossible to construct an heat engine which absorbs the heat from the hot reservoir and completely converts that heat into the work next clausius statement it states that it is impossible to transfer heat from colder body to hotter body as per nature's rule everything transfers from high temperature region to low temperature region so high potential to low potential but it is impossible to transfer the heat from low temperature region that is colder bodies to high temperature region that is hotter body without help of any external agent the best example for this is our refrigerators so in refrigerator heat is transferred from colder body to the surroundings that is hotter body but with the help of external agent here external agent is nothing but the electric current now let us discuss about the differences between heat engine and refrigerator so heat engine converts heat into work refrigerator is the reverse of that of the heat engine now i did a small video to explain the heat engine and refrigerator just to watch it differences between heat engine and refrigerator okay so now heat engine converts heat into work right okay now this is hot reservoir okay now let this be working substance as working substance we are considering 1 gram mole of ideal gas 1 gram mole of ideal gas right now let this be cold reservoir or we call it as sink also this has source now source is maintained at temperature t1 and cold reservoir or sink is maintained at temperature t2 in case of heat engines the working substance absorbs the heat q1 from source or hot reservoir it absorbs q1 heat right now converts some heat into work and the remaining heat is rejected to the sink here absorbed rejected to the sink and that rejected heat is q2 so this is the way how the heat engine works but by seeing this we can understand that 100% of heat cannot be converted into 100% of work so 100% of heat cannot be converted into 100% work that what the kelvin plank statement has said 
what the kelvin planck statement is saying it is impossible to construct an heat engine which absorbs the heat from hot reservoir and completely converts it into work okay it is impossible to construct an engine which just takes the heat and completely converts into the work right now next and uh, efficiency so work output by heat input heat input how much q1 so that is equal to we will get work output q1 minus q2 by q1 that is equal to 1 minus q2 by q1 efficiency of heat engine now next let us discuss about refrigerator so it is the reversed heat engine we can say reversed heat engine okay now as usual source or hot reservoir right working substance as working substance we are taking an ideal gas 1 gram mole of ideal gas and sink or cold reservoir right it is the reverse of heat engine here what happens heat is absorbed from the cold reservoir okay here working substance absorbs what we said q2 here q1 so working substance absorbs the heat from cold reservoir now some work is done okay converted into work now next the remaining heat is rejected to the hot reservoir here the input heat is q2 output is q1 q2 is absorbed from the sink and q2 is rejected to the source so Clausius statement says that it is impossible to transfer heat from cold reservoir to hot reservoir without help of external agent without help of external agent so in this process the external agent is compulsory required so in case of refrigerator external agent is nothing but the electric current which you are using All right so compulsory if external agent is present only this process undergoes if not it is impossible to transfer heat from cold to hot reservoir without an aid of external agent now next here we call it we take coefficient of performance coefficient of performance coefficient of performance is nothing but 1 by efficiency right reciprocal of efficiency so what is the efficiency formula work output by what is here heat input q2 here we wrote q1 but here q2 so what we will write alpha equal to q2 by w right that is equal to q2 by q1 minus q2 here efficiency will be less than 1 and here coefficient of performance alpha will be greater than 1 so these are the differences between the heat engine and a refrigerator so these are the differences between the heat engine and refrigerator watch this ppt to write down the notes also uh, this is the second long answer question second law of thermodynamics with the difference in heat engine and refrigerator thank you for watching my video if you like it share it subscribe it